Jared's just a happy kid. He likes to just run around outdoors. Jared has a picture-perfect life. The last thing anyone expected was for him to experience a life-threatening accident. We were at a friend's house before trick-or-treating. I suddenly saw the front door swing open and a child run out. And when I went to see what was going on, I saw Jared on the front lawn in flames and flesh hanging off of him in places. I really, without thought, just tackled him to the ground and just continued to roll him over and over until the flames were out. I didn't really know at the time what had happened. There was a jack-o'-lantern, the small candle inside. The costume caught fire. He ran out of the house because his sisters were upstairs, so he wanted to get out of the house before he rolled. When he was in the ambulance, he asked if he was going to die. Jared's internal organs were in danger of total failure. To save his life, he was transported to the only dedicated pediatric burn center in the Philadelphia region, St. Christopher's Hospital for Children. When we got to St. Christopher's, we were taken up to the ICU immediately. Heart specialists were there, as well as the burn specialists. They told us that it was um, second and third degree burns, that it was about 35% of his body that had been burned, um, and that he was going to need skin grafting. He was fully sedated. Um, I was able to talk to him. He could squeeze my hand, so I knew that he was um, you know, alive and going to be OK. Through multiple surgeries, blood transfusions, occupational therapy, and mental health support, the whole team at St. Christopher's was there to nurture and guide Jared back to his family and back to his childhood. When we had originally gotten to St. Christopher's, they told us he would probably be in the hospital from anywhere to four to six weeks. Um, Jared worked really hard. He was out of the hospital in 26 days. He handled the whole situation surprisingly well, emotionally, physically. He never got down on himself. He was never depressed. He just wanted to do what he needed to do to get better. St. Christopher's realizes the health of your child is everything. And the enormous trust and responsibility you place in their hands is never taken for granted. When your child suffers a trauma, there's and you have no medical background, there's really nothing you can do but put your faith in the doctors. We felt comfortable there. We knew that the doctors knew what they were doing, so we put all of our trust in them. Everyone at St. Christopher's, we felt, knew Jared's story. They would come in and talk to Jared every day, help to keep his spirits high, help to keep my spirits high. Our whole family felt like we were part of the St. Christopher's family. Learn more about other proud moments at the Burn Center for Children at St. Chris.